Number of the day, number of the day, it's number 16, a number of the day. That's it, today's number is number 16. So can we find it on the number shapes? Remember, the 1 in 16 means you're looking for 110, and the 6 means you're looking for 6 ones. So 110 and 6 more. Here it is. I'm sure you found it before I did. Right, let's have a little look at what 16 is the same as. There's 16 on the fingers. You'd need to borrow someone else's fingers to help you with that. You need one, two, three hands um, with five fingers on and then one more hand with one. So that's five, 10, 15, 16. Wow. There's the number shapes again. And there they are in a different um, arrangement. And 16 is the same as 8 plus 8, or double 8. Doubling means you have the same number twice added together. So 8 add 8 makes 16. And there's 16 written down. So can you think of a number that is fewer than 16? So think of your number track and all those numbers that you would count before you get to 16, they are fewer. So you could start uh, counting from zero and all the numbers that you say before you get to 16 are fewer. I thought of, wow, that's one. I wonder if you recognize that. That's BBC one, it says. I think you might recognize that logo. Okay, but what about more than? What about numbers that are more than? 16. So if you are on 16 and you keep counting, so if you have more, um, then all those numbers are more than or greater. I wonder if you're thinking of a number that is very big, much larger than 16. I went for a number that's quite close to 16. 19. So that's 16 to 19. You only need a few more. 16, 17, 18, 19 three more. Let's think about one more and one less. So our number of the day is 16 and you can find it on the number track, remember, and then think about where um, uh, you need to jump for one less and where you need to jump for one more. So there's 16. Let's make it disappear. OK, so remembering, look down the number track um, for one less and along the number track to the larger numbers for one more. So one less than 16. If you have 16 chocolates and you give one away, you'd have 15. But if you have 16 chocolates and someone gives you one more, you would have 17. Well done. So on our 10 frame, I wonder if you remember how many that is. Yes, that's five. Well done. But how many are there now? Do you need to count them all? No, we know that's 10 because a 10 frame is full. It's got 10 in it. But our number of the day is 16. So let's keep going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's like three lots of five there. Five and then another five and another five. But we need 16. There's 16. That's what it looks like on two 10 frames. Let's do our part part whole. So we need 16 in the top. Oh, I'm making them jump in very quickly. 16. Now remember, you can have a go at part part whole on your um, on your own at home. Um, you can draw your part part whole model and then use counters. So put 16 in the top and then move the counters, all of them, out of the top circle, out of the hole and into the parts. And you might end up with different pairs of numbers. Um, for number of the day, I always put 10 in this part. And then that would mean I need to put, oh, how many in that part? 10 and, yes, that's right, 6. Well done. 
10 and 6 make 16, or 6 and 10 make 16. Or if you think we started with them all in the at the top for the whole, that was 16, and we took 10 of them away, that made 6. Or we could have 16 and we'll take 6 of them away, and we would have 10. Have fun with your numbers, everyone. Thank you.